This is our ECE project for 5780, a 3D cube. It's 8x8x8. Eight, eight by eight by eight. Each layer can be turned on separately and each LED can t be turned on separately as well. This is controlled by eight transistors, which will turn on the top layer, the second, third, and so on to the eighth layer. And these driver circuits on this board will control the LEDs on each layer. It will allow you to turn on any one you want using a shift register network. This is connected to a Smart Fusion Evaluation Board. There's a microcontroller that, that communicates to this driver circuit and a radio. The, ra the radio communicates to another radio and a Smart Fusion kit that connects to a computer. This is the other side, the radio, a CC2520 chip that communicates over UART. The GUI that, c that can turn on any LED we want is right here. Right, we can draw one point at a time. Each one of these is a different point that's being drawn on the cube. If we preview this by clicking this button, a zero will be drawn on the cube. Right now, there's a zero. If I clear it, it disappears. If I preview it again, it shows up again. I can also draw other things. I'll draw another zero, but this time it will be on the next layer. Now I click preview, and now it's on the next one. If you look at the side, this time it's on the second layer instead of the first one. Also, I can just draw a simple square if I want to. Okay, click preview, there's a square. Now we have the same LED cube now hooked up with this Arduino Uno. Uh, we use the uh, Uno for testing and also it puts out 5 volts on each I.O. line so it makes the LEDs a lot brighter. We programmed a 3D Pong game, which you can see running here. It's still in uh, rudimentary condition, but you can see that there's one paddle here, a player two paddle here, and a bouncing ball. And we can control the paddles with this SNES controller. You see, um, I can you control player one with these four buttons, and if I push these buttons, they move the paddle, and these four buttons control the other paddle, and that's our 3D Pong game. And it's still a work in progress. As you can see, the ball doesn't bounce correctly, or we don't have any scoring yet. So. Next we have another cool animation. We upload it to the Arduino. <laughs> It's just got your face. It's all, good. all right, it's uploading. <laughs> this will just be a, a growing and shrinking box animation. It's uploading. And you can see um, the box growing and shrinking. It's pretty cool. <laughs>